shot number one is how to make a star lapse. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 150cm aluminium selfie stick and the Best360 aluminium camera clamp. I set the 1RS to interval mode, 21 megapixels, take a photo every 10 seconds. I used manual exposure mode, set the format to INSP plus RAW, set the shutter speed to 10 seconds. Set the ISO to 800 and the white balance to 4000 Kelvin. Clamp the 1RS onto a railing, press record and wait 2 hours to capture around 10 seconds of video. To edit this shot, the first step is to turn the set of individual photos into a 360 video. So to do this, open Insta360 Studio Go to Open Files, go to the folder with all the photos, sort the photos by their type and select only the DNG files because these are the high quality photos and not the INSPs. Click Open, wait for Insta360 Studio to finish processing all the files. Make sure the shot is selected, go to Export. Export 360 photo, choose where to save the shot to, leave the resolution the same, change the export type to star lapse, change the frame rate to 30 frames per second, make sure the star trail length is long and stabilization type is stationary, choose a file name, Click Start Export and wait for the shot to finish exporting. Once the shot has finished exporting, I will go back to Local Files, Import, select the file I just exported and open it. The next step is to reframe the shot. So at the beginning of the shot, I will add a keyframe. I will reframe the shot so the rocks are in the center. Use the fisheye field of view to reveal as much of the sky as possible and tilt down by 15 degrees to reveal more of the sky. Then I'll go to the end of the shot, add a keyframe, change the field of view to 90 for a zoom out effect. And now I have a star lap shot. Shot number two is how to make a paragliding shot. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 selfie stick, the Best360 500g counterweight to counter the weight of the camera on the other end of the selfie stick, which will make it easier on my wrist, and a third party lanyard for safety. I set the 1RS to standard 360 video mode at 6K 30 frames per second. Fully extend the selfie stick and point it in different directions to capture various angles. To edit this shot, click Deep Track. Drag a box around the subject, center the target and click start tracking. Wait for Insta360 Studio to finish tracking. Once the tracking is complete, select the yellow highlighted area, change the field of view to 120 to zoom out and change the distortion to 0.5 for a little bit less fisheye distortion. And now when I play it back, I have a paragliding shot. Shot number three is how to make a day to night time lapse. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 Monopod Aluminium Edition. Place the Best360 Monopod on the balcony, attach a power bank to the 1RS to keep it charged over a long period of time, and wait three to four hours for the time lapse to complete. I set the 1RS to interval mode, 21 megapixels, take a photo every 10 seconds, in manual exposure mode, the format is set to INSP plus RAW. The shutter speed is set to Auto. The ISO is set to 100. And the white balance is set to Auto. To edit the shot, the first step is to turn the individual photos into a 360 video. So go to Open Files. Go to the folder with all the photos. 
go to sort and sort by kind, select all the DNG photos, click open and wait for Insta360 Studio to process the files. Make sure the shot is selected, go to export, export 360 photo, leave the resolution the same, export type, time lapse, frame rate 30 frames per second, stabilization type stationary, choose a file name, click start export and wait for the time lapse to finish exporting. Once the shot has finished exporting, go to local files, import, select the file I just exported, open it and the next step is to reframe the shot. So at the beginning of the shot, I will add a keyframe, use the natural field of view to get rid of fisheye distortion, center the frame, I will change the field of view to 110 to zoom out, then I'll go to the end of the shot, add a keyframe, change the field of view to 90 to add a zoom in effect, and now I have a day to night time lapse. Shot number four is how to make a bumper shot. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 selfie stick and the Delkin three-way suction cup mount. I set the 1RS to standard 360 video mode at 6K 30 frames per second. Make sure the car window and the suction cups are clean. Mount the suction cups onto the back window of the car. Extend the selfie stick by one stem and drive for at least three minutes. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is go to stabilization type and turn on direction lock. Then go to the beginning of the shot, add a keyframe and reframe the shot so the car is in the center of the frame. I will change the field of view to 90 to zoom out. Tilt down to reveal the car. And I will change the distortion to 0.75 and tweak the car in the center of the frame. The next step is to add speed. So I'll go to the beginning of the shot, click speed, add the speed throughout the entire shot and change the speed to 16 times. And now when I play it back, I have a bumper shot. Shot number five is how to make a backpack shot. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 camera backpack, the Best360 selfie stick, and the Best360 500g counterweight. I set the 1RS to standard 360 video mode at 6K 30 frames per second. Place the selfie stick into the backpack and lock it into place. Extend the selfie stick by two stems, wear the backpack, and walk for at least 10 seconds. To edit this shot, the first thing I will do is go to stabilization type and turn on direction lock. Then I'll go to the beginning of the shot, add a keyframe, change the field of view to 130 to zoom out, change the distortion to 0.5 for a little bit less fisheye distortion, and I'll tilt down minus 15 degrees to look down at myself and center myself in the frame. And now when I play it back, I have a backpack shot. Now here's a bonus, how to make a car POV shot. To capture this shot, I am using the Best360 magnetic camera mount and 10 centimeter spacer. I set the 1RS to standard 360 video mode at 6K 30 frames per second. In manual exposure mode, I set the shutter speed to 1 50th of a second because I'm going on smooth road. The ISO is set to 400 and the white balance is set to 4000 Kelvin. Place the magnet on the roof of the car and drive for at least two minutes. To edit this shot, the first thing I will do is add a keyframe at the beginning of the shot. Change the field of view to 90 to zoom out. Change the distortion to 0.25 to get rid of fisheye distortion. I will center the car hood, tilt up slightly, 
Then I will move forward in the timeline just before the roundabout and add a keyframe. Then I'll move forward to the middle of the roundabout, add a keyframe, reframe towards the lights in the middle of the roundabout. Then I'll move forward just before I leave the roundabout, add a keyframe, reframe so the lights are in the center of the roundabout. Then I'll move forward in the timeline until I see Hard Rock Cafe on the right. Add a keyframe. I will turn the view all the way around to reveal Hard Rock Cafe. I will move forward one second in the timeline, add a keyframe, and put Hard Rock Cafe in the center of the frame. Then I will move forward one second before the end of the timeline, add a keyframe, and reframe all the way around to the right hand side to reveal the shops. Now that all the keyframing is complete, the next step is to add the speed. So I'll go to the beginning of the shot, click add speed, and I will add speed until the middle of the roundabout. Click to add the speed, change the speed to 16 times. After the 16 times speed, I will leave one second as normal speed, then add a new speed, Add this speed until Hard Rock Cafe is revealed. Click to add the speed. Change this speed to 16 times. Then I will leave one second as normal speed. Click to add a new speed. Add this speed one second before the end of the timeline. Change this speed to 16 times speed. And leave the last second at normal speed. And now when I play this back, I have a car POV shot. That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Subscribe for more 360 tutorials. Comment below if you have a question. And I will see you in the next video.